Hey guys, my name is Alex with Tips and Tricks on LG Home Entertainment within South Africa. Today we're looking at episode 4 where we touch base on MultiView, a function found in WebOS 22 operating system. Now, when we enable this function over here, as you guys can see, we can have two surfaces played on a single TV. What I have is my HDMI plugged in, which is my DSTV decoder, and I have the DSTV Now app on my phone wirelessly displayed to the TV so I can watch two important matches at the same time. If you guys remember, Liverpool and Manchester City were in the race for the Premier League title and Liverpool managed to lose that title on the day Manchester City and Liverpool were playing at the exact same time. What you can do now is not change the channel on the DSTV decoder to find the score updates on Liverpool and Manchester City. So now you can actually have both of the matches played on a single TV. What you do is you have your DSTV decoder here and you have your wireless display and you can now have them side by side to one another. You're probably asking how we're going to hear audio. Well, you can choose which sort of service could be in use. So you can see this volume button over here is when I click it, it's now going to change the, to the screen share sound. And if I click the screen share sound off, it is going to go back to my HDMI 3 input. So that is how you change the sound from one service to the other. And now you can watch two important matches at the same time. That is MultiView, but let's look at how you can enable this for you. So in order to launch into MultiView while using your HDMI input, click your settings button on your Magic Remote, head over to MultiView on the quick option settings. Here you can choose the layout in which you want your TV to launch MultiView in. So side by side, like I showed you earlier with DSTV Decoder and DSTV Now, or picture in picture. So right now with HDMI, the current capabilities is HDMI as well as screen share or a camera plug and play USB so I'm gonna choose screen share over here and you can see that now we have gone into a split mode where the TV can now use its HDMI as well as a screen share input and that is how you use the multi view function so that is multi view and to sum it up you could use your HDMI as well as wirelessly display content from a phone or a laptop secondly is use your HDMI as well as your USB camera and then thirdly is use a Spotify and the art gallery in a TV. Now there is going to be a software update towards the end of 2022 to add even further capabilities of MultiView and I'll show you guys in the next slide what to expect. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. See you guys in the next tips and tricks.